So, Mark, um, have you ever been to Bergamo? Uh, no, I have not. It's my first time here. So, I would like to ask you uh, if you like events like that, like when people doesn't, don't go to venues but go to private places where uh, they call it visible show. Or uh, if you like it and if you uh, do stuff like that in your country? Uh, yeah, we definitely do stuff like that in Canada. Um, and yes, uh, the thing I like most about it is the people who are going to come are the people who want to listen. So it's much different than, say, a club setting where people may go to meet their friends and drink. Um, under the assumption that most people come here to listen to the music. Yeah. And do you think that spaces and events like that uh, change uh, your approach to the lights? Uh, yeah, uh, I think so. Um, mainly because often the spaces are smaller, so your approach to performance has to change because the size of the space changes, becomes more intimate. Uh, the question about your live performance in general. What do you enjoy? Not what you do, but which is your idea of Mark Tempest on live performance? Like, which is your mm -hmm. my approach? My yeah, your your point and your um, Yeah, I try to essentially build something the same as uh, maybe a painter or someone who sculpts something, they start from maybe very little and they shape it. So I may start from samples and then I try to, in a live setting, deconstruct the samples and then reconstruct them into new processes and new identities. And what do you use as a yeah. um, I use a cassette player and uh, just like a MP3 player zoom um, into a mixer um, along with a, just a digital delay pedal and a controller, bringing that into a laptop to process things live um, and loop things so that I'm essentially trying to let the audience into the creation process. Okay, and I would like the last question about our country mm -hmm. and what do you think uh, from what you've seen but uh, I mean in, not in terms of good food and stuff like that but in terms of uh, art and music I think the approach is much different than North America um, I've talked with people about Italians and um, their approach to say sound um, is much different than North Americans approach to sound so uh, I always leave Italy with a different perception and idea of sound because it's so contradictory in a good way to North American um, and I think that that also falls into visual elements as well um, the approach is really really different and I can't really put those differences into words, but I just know that when someone like yourself approaches sound, um, it's much different from my approach, so I always learn something by just hearing how an artist approaches sound from Italy. So all in all, it's a very, very strong approach and very, very, um, I'd like to say it seems more minimal to me. Um, than North American, which I really appreciate.